So SEBI rules require that Indian traders in the stock market, they uh, log into their broker terminals daily. But uh, why, see, what can be done man manually can also be done by automation system, right? So there are countless ways to do that, but there are two most popular ways, which is the Python request ways, which means that uh, you will be actually mimicking the endpoint request of whatever the website is sending to the main server uh, and also giving the input like proper mimicking. Uh, but that is actually illegal because it falls under, under the category of uh, web scrapping and uh, there may be complications on that. So the other way is Selenium. So what does Selenium does? Selenium, there, it actually helps us to do uh, like exact browser automation like a machine is going to click there and fetch some data exactly like a human is browsing the website so it's a browser automation so rather than direct the data request so you are not in violation in that kind of a sense okay so you can automate in this way you are basically automating your manual labor so let's see how we are doing it so i am assuming that you have finished all of this and let me check the last part Yeah, so we had made a library that time. See, it happens sometimes because GitHub does not allow you to render properly. So go to NB Viewer. So whenever you have a Jupyter notebook in GitHub, it will be making you a problem. NB Viewer online. What is the link exactly? I forgot. Uh, let me check this nvviewer.org i think say i just copied the same url and pasted it now it will open it is because of the ram uh, they have allocated you very less amount of ram or server constraints you can say so we have made this pin up in in the last video and let me show that what is happening here okay this is my phone number so see use your own, own phone number okay because if uh, you are going to do this and use my phone number and try to log in i'll be getting otp all whole night long so <laughs> it does not make any sense and those guys also always keep blocking my account because of the same reason but i need to show you in a realistic way to do that Anyways, in the past, you have to put the TOTP key. If you forgot how to get the TOTP key, uh, you can see the video, which uh, you can find in the description here. And let's say you have forgotten everything, like I have forgotten. So I will just reset it. Let me get the OTP. It came, that's a sound. Nah. Anyway, so I am going to my account and going to the time based OTP here. I'm just res resetting the OTP. I need to put the OTP again. See, in case you have not set the OTP, you have to set the OTP in the same way. So you can see the video in the description to set that similar way. So I actually need this key. Okay. So when you get this key, put it here. My pin is 93319. This is why I hit something like that. Yeah, see, so you got the key, right? So, from the key, we can actually generate the exact stuff like this. So anyways, I don't need that. So you're in the client pass. You have to put your key, whatever you have gotten from the, this step. So we need to finish it. Yeah. Now it is done. And I also don't need it anymore. Oh, okay. I need it actually. 9658986525. now i don't need the otp i can just copy paste it 
okay so what i need is i need to click on the app i need to get the api key is it same right now yes is it same right now anyways so everything is done and redirect url it does not matter at all okay i'll show you why but still yeah let's see we'll check it okay so let me just run it let's see to visit here nine triple three one nine oops huh. see it came perfectly so you need to keep doing this in the everyday morning so i have to show you a way that you don't have to do that because who wants to wake up at the 9 a.m anyways because like if you are like me i work in the whole night i devise all the strategy and everything then i sleep i don't even see in the market time so the more less manual labor the better it is right so for that i need to start on the selenium and selenium uh, in the google collab you cannot do that okay so my next step will be from this link i need to get this okay so our current tux is to get the code from this link so what currently we have we have three data so which is client id client pass and client pin we don't need to use the api key or anything because when we are logging in manually we are not using anyways and if you see the url actually stays same because the client id is actually coming from your client id which is your mobile number so this url will be staying same but you can also auto generate that so it does not matter so right now i'll just copy this url and hard code it you can actually uh, in the step of the pinakin i will be actually in the doing in the later i'll be making another version of the logging abstracts underscore login underscore selenium that will allow you to do directly from there also so let's see how that is happening okay so let me just keep the url again so the first step is importing time the time module actually is a standard python library which allows us to manipulate time like wait for the web page to load kind of stuff like that the next step is from selenium import web driver so i am assuming that you know what is python and what is jupyter notebook and how to know install jupyter notebook in the local system if you don't know that go see other youtube video because if i stopped all kind of stuff like that basics in my this video then the guys who already know those kind of stuff they will leave, leave my video and don't see it because it will be boring very much now i am importing the web driver module of the selenium package so selenium is a very popular tool for automatic web browsers and it provides a very uh, interactive way to interact with different browsers like chrome firefox we'll be using chrome here and you can because see whenever i am getting stuck the chrome community is more bigger than the firefox so i get easier solution in the chrome that's why chrome nothing else and there are faster ways if you uh, do the boring ssl i use that and um, but you will not get any support anywhere even chat gpt cannot help you but that is actually 100 times faster than the chrome now you can think this web driver as a driver uh, of the the driver that controls the browser the next part is from i bought a new keyboard that's why the problem from selenium dot web driver dot chrome dot options import make sure that you put this on caption on if you don't do that you will get error so this line imports the option class this is a class which is specifically for the chrome uh, here okay so in, using the option class you can do many stuff i'll show you what now let me initialize it first so we are initializing a new object of option class somebody's calling me i'll just pick him later anyways this part is done now let's start it driver equal to web driver dot chrome 
for the sake of the simplicity i will divide this video in a very smaller amount of video so that you can actually see and watch now it is making an error which is a very common error in windows that whenever you are doing in the chrome browser like this they actually restrict you in a very uh, different ways okay so that's why we need to add a sandbox okay let me show you first then i'll tell what is it options add argument so this method is used to add various command line arguments like when you can uh, start the google chrome you can actually add the command line argument so these are the command line arguments to chrome's options object okay so this uh, arguments modify the behavior of the chrome browser when it is being controlled by the selenium okay so what behavior i want to control here i want to make it in no sandbox sandbox so this particular argument is used to disable the chrome sandbox feature the sandbox is a security feature that isolates the browser process okay and if you do that it will not work in windows at all it works in the um, some uh, like virtual box kind of stuff but in the main windows it will make huge amount of problem okay so disabling it often is a necessary stuff okay you can see this is a very common one okay and there are many other stuff you can do you can actually disable the gpu you can start with the incognito mode like if you want to start in the incognito mode you, all you have to do is this so every time we are logging in we are anyway starting from the fresh so incognito yeah but still if somebody is giving you problem you can do this so there are many other kind of options you can find in the link i have added a link to this tutorial which has a very descriptive way of all the common arguments and stuff i'm using in this tutorial so you can actually read there and learn more about it so let me disable the sandbox feature and let me try to run it it will take some amount of time to run you can also disable the pop-up blocking and display info word kind of stuff see it came is showing the chrome is being controlled by an automated browser now see i need to load the url okay so the url is here which you can see in our main goal so let's check the url driver get url now see what happens here okay i have not clicked I am running it and see what is happening here. It is opening it. So, what is the next step? I have to click here, then I have to click on the get out. But before I click here, I need to wait for this entire page to load. Otherwise, uh, it will say that we do not see anything in the page. Like a uh, thing like a proper human. Okay. So, I'll write a patch of a code which you can easily understand if you are a JavaScript developer that I am checking that if the document state is complete. Uh, in JavaScript, the document uh, by document we mean this uh, entire content of this page okay so i am checking that if the entire page is rendered completely then i will check for this field and then i will enter okay so well, let me write that part and from selenium web driver support dot ey import web the problem is with the exact way you need to write if you make any changes in the capitalization or anything like that you'll be having a huge problem because it will not work then let me see if you have written it somewhere no i don't have it written so i need to write it wait for page to load in my life i like to be as descriptive as much as possible because when i write something and i see it after a few days i forget that why and how i have written that okay so that's my problem web driver web driver timeout until so i am allowing it to load within 30 seconds if it does not load within 30 seconds it will show some error okay lambda 
believe it. The problem if you're using so many languages is that you forget that which, what is the syntax of each language correctly. Document dot ready state. And this is a case specific. So uh, the line webdriver import is importing the class from the Selenium library and it is used to wait certain condition to become true. So what we are doing here, we are checking for the ready state to be complete. Okay, so this is the condition we are waiting for. This is a Lambda function that executes the JavaScript command through the browser through driver execute script command. Okay, and the JavaScript, this is the JavaScript. It returns complete as a response if all the resources of the document is completely and fully loaded. And this web driver wait, wait, okay, I need to call the function. One minute. Yeah. Wait for page load driver. So this is a call to the web for the page load function and passing the driver as object because this is the only object you have. So it will wait up to 30 seconds as a timeout for the page to fully load it. Okay, and so let me just check the spelling once more. Yeah, this is correct. And this is also correct. Yeah, I, I added a space here. This is also correct. Let me run. Yeah, it ran successfully. Now, uh, let's go to the next step, which is selecting the oh, what it can call this uh, user input element. Okay. Uh, let's do that in the next video because we are already about to complete 20 minutes here. Okay. So that you can bifurcate, uh, bifurcate. And somebody who is already knowing Selenium, he can directly see from there and understand anyways and save their time. Thank you for watching this video so far. Hope you like it.